Now, We 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. I, after this weekend, I don't know what to say. Perfect. It was I awesome. Know. I mean, Beautiful God, you weather. showed out this weekend. <laughs> so <laughs> true. So true. Such a good one. Mm -hmm. Well, today is a little bit of a continuation, but honestly, the 10 day forecast that you're going to see in a minute, a roller coaster. Mm. No day is similar to the one before. We wow. got a lot going on. The good news is, at least today, Today's a good one. Take a look at what we're seeing right now in the Rocket City. Conditions are mild, skies are clear, but still quite dark. Our temperatures are sitting in the upper 50s and our winds are calm, but we do have some gusty winds at times. However, it's nothing like what we saw last week. Over in Muscle Shoals, we're sitting in the low 60s, so not much variability across the Tennessee Valley this morning. You won't need much more than just the lightest jacket, even no jacket at all. I came to work in just the short sleeves and I was fine. 517 on your Monday morning and 31 triple Doppler is dry from rain. That blue green you're seeing in northern Madison and in Jackson counties, that is feedback. We call it ground clutter. It is not rain. So in addition to having to leave the heavy winter coat at home, leave the umbrella at home today too. By the time the little ones are headed off the bus and back home for the day, a whole lot of sunshine warms us to well above average for this time of year. We'll be sitting in the mid 80s for our high temperature, and that's about 10 degrees warmer than we should be. But sunny, a light breeze, mid 80s, I don't know that I'm going to really see anybody complaining about that one. <laughs> the one negative in today's forecast would be the pollen. We've said goodbye to all the rain of last week, which means we've said hello to significantly higher pollen counts, leaving us in the excessively high category not just today, but each day of the work week ahead. Now, tomorrow will be mostly cloudy. It will be warm again, 68 degrees by 9 a.m., 82 degrees for your high temperature of the day on your Tuesday. However, we do have a slight chance for rain, and I do mean just just slight. Around 6 o'clock in the morning, one or two isolated showers will make their way into our western counties. We'll have some spotty showers move through for the rest of breakfast time, and then we'll be dry for lunch. In fact, we're even mostly cloud-free for lunch. By the time we get in later into the afternoon and at 5 o'clock when you're commuting home, some more patches of isolated rain enter into the Tennessee Valley. They follow us through our evening commute home, and then they intensify into some stronger rain as we're heading to bed on Tuesday night. Now, honestly, if I'm you, I'm not even bringing a rain jacket with me tomorrow. Even those of us that do see those showers, they will be so brief and such light rain there for a couple minutes and then gone. So just know you might have to use your windshield wipers for a minute or two, and then you can go back to business as usual until Tuesday night heading into Wednesday. When we get to Wednesday, that's when we have a severe weather risk in the Ohio Valley, and the very southernmost edge of that clips part of our area in the Tennessee Valley. That does put us in a level one out of five risk for severe weather. Those showers come to us again first thing in the morning, but we don't see them intensify until breakfast time and getting close to lunch. By lunchtime, most of that stronger weather is out of the way, and then we'll see some spotty showers for the rest of the afternoon and evening before some stronger rain moves in overnight Wednesday again. So overall, my concern level for that system is quite low. However, there is still a chance that we could see some severe thunderstorms, so it's something we do need to keep our eyes on. On Thursday, Day, we're sunny and warm again, then we're cooler and rainy on Friday before, unfortunately, what looks like a rainy weekend.